What misconceptions about ketamine therapy frustrate you the most? Not to people's fault, but the stigmas around ketamine therapy are pretty astronomical. If I take ketamine therapy, you know, am I going to die? If I take ketamine therapy, am I going to be addicted? Matthew Perry died of ketamine therapy, which he did not. He died from mixing uh, Suboxone, an opiate, and a lot of recreational ketamine use inside of a hot tub. That is not ketamine therapy. When people talk about uh, addiction to ketamine, addiction is a real thing. And people abuse ketamine uh, on, on the streets and have for, for many years. When done recreationally, it can be very addictive. When done in a therapeutic setting or under clinical guidance, the right dosage and the right frequency that the uh, reports of addiction for ketamine therapy are incredibly low. There's so many people out there that could benefit from ketamine therapy. Their doctor isn't educated on it yet, or their psychiatrist isn't educated on it yet. But those same doctors and psychiatrists are prescribing them Xanax, antidepressants that have not great data that uh, are exponentially worse or more addictive and can cause real long-term, you know, long-term health problems. Ketamine is on the World Health Organization's list of essential medicines. Any developed country around the world has stockpiled ketamine as a safe and effective anesthesia, which is used in emergency rooms daily. Leading psychiatrists are saying that ketamine therapy is the biggest breakthrough in psychiatry in the last 50 years.